first question will be from Eric Walden. Eric, go ahead. Hey, Rudy, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, I'm sure you're probably sick of talking about this, but um, I, I just wanted to kind of address your relationship with Donovan, kind of where it was at before this this situation took place, how this situation kind of impacted it, and, and kind of where you guys are at now. I mean, our, our relationship was like the relationship between two two competitors that want to that want to win, you know. And uh, like Donovan just said, uh, no one expects it to be perfect, and it's never going to be perfect. I've never had a perfect relationships, you know, with, with my teammates or with even my family members or with pretty much anyone that's around me. But you know, as long like I said, as long as we respect one another and we we both share the same goals and we both do what's best for the team. Uh, that's what matters. And, you know, I think over the last few years, that's what we've been doing. And that's what we plan on continuing on doing. Okay, thank you. Next question will be from Tony Jones. Tony. Rudy, how difficult has uh, have, have these last few months been for you uh, personally and professionally? Uh, it's been a uh, tough few months, you know, both physically, mentally. Uh, you know, it was uh, something that I had never experienced before. You know, not just the virus, but the whole situation. I think all of us uh, never experienced that before. You know, it's not just me. So, you know, it was, uh, I think it was a great learning experience for me when I look back. Uh, I think uh, now I'm, you know, I'm much more... You know, it was a great learning experience and uh, I feel like myself and I think everyone, you know, just is out of that, you know, a different person. You know, we all, uh, there's a lot of things that we, we all take it for granted uh, that, you know, we, we just, until it happens to you, until, you know, you realize that when you talk about the environment, when you talk about everything that's going on, you realize that uh, we have a lot to, we need to do better. You know, it was kind of like a just slap in the face. And I think uh, we are going to come out of this uh, better as, as persons, more importantly. Okay, thank you. Next question will be from Sarah Todd. Sarah. Hey, Rudy, how's it going? Um, good, how are you? Good. I know that you're um, eligible for a pretty large extension and um, that... I think that there's a lot of concern, especially around the fan base, that anything that might have transpired between you and Donovan would make you lean towards not wanting to be in Utah. Is that the case at all? Or is there anything else that would make you not want to be here? So first of all, I'm, I'm really happy in Utah. Uh, you know, like I've always been saying, uh, I love living here. You know, so that's the number one thing. Number two thing, uh, I want to win, you know, so to be honest, as long as I feel like we we can win and, you know, and we have a group like Queen, the, the things we've been building over the years, it's something that you don't see anywhere else. Uh, and that's something I take a lot of pride in. So right now, yes, it's not perfect. Yes, a lot of things happen, uh, you know, but uh, I still don't take nothing for granted. You know, I think uh, it's a great situation for me individually for my family it's you know something that uh you know i think in the future can still be great for for myself so no i don't i don't plan on, on leaving right now uh, i plan on winning a championship with utah and uh, and of course you know things things evolve things change but as of today uh you know i don't even think about the extension or the money i just think about you know uh, being healthy first, mentally, physically, and uh, and just go out there and uh, and try to do, try to win, just try to win, and and uh, I can get better, you know, as a person, as a as a basketball player. Thank you. Thanks. Um, next question will be from Ben Anderson. Ben. Hey, Rudy. As you've kind of worked your way into becoming a professional basketball player, you've been able to control your identity. And now you've had this narrative built around your entire life on a worldwide scale. 
How have you dealt with that just personally? How do you navigate that going forward? I mean, it's uh, obviously, you know, when, when you have the whole world judging you and threatening you or, you know, uh, sending you a lot of negative energy and stuff like that, it's, it's something that I would say is not easy as a human being. But at the same time, you know, uh, you know, people just judge you on the perception they have and the perception they get from sometimes it can be one picture, one video, one interview, one action. So, you know, people don't really know you. And, uh, you know, like I said, the, I think you guys know me a little bit. You know who I am as a person, as a human being. Uh, the people around me uh, really know me. They know who I am. Uh, and that's what matters to me, you know, uh, at the end of the day, uh, I won't be able to control everyone's perception of me, but I can control my actions. I can control, you know, the things I do for people around me, for the community, the things I do for, for my teammates on the court, of the court, all that stuff I can control. And that's what really matters to me. Okay. Thanks. Next question will be from Eric Woodyard. Hey, what's up, man? So. <clears throat> for you, man, you was the first one to, you know, test positive for the coronavirus. So have you had any reservations? I was reading a report that, that was saying you still couldn't smell and taste in some capacity. So as far as going into a bubble, did you have any reservations as a plan? I mean, since you were the first one to test positive for it. What, what did you say at the end? Sorry. No, I said, did you have any reservations of possibly even plan or what was your thought process to even commit to this after actually testing positive for it? I mean, to be honest, when all of this was going on, basketball was the last thing on my, on my mind. Um, the good thing is, you know, we, I had a lot of time to, you know, get my mind right, uh, get my body right, and kind of process, even if it's still not completely processed, everything that was, you know, that happened. And like I said, like, it's not just about me. There's, you know, everyone's been affected by, by this directly or indirectly. You know, people lost jobs, people, I mean, it's just been a lot of stuff. Uh, and also with the, what's going on with, the, you know, the social justice and all that stuff. So it's, you know, a lot of stuff are going on and it's been a process, but I'm, I'm happy now that I'm in a, in a good place, you know, uh, and I'm happy that, you know, that I, I get the joy back from playing basketball with my team and, and, uh, and the competitiveness is, is, is back. You know, I'm, I'm ready to try to go out there and, and try to win the championship. That's the goal. And to be honest, after everything we've been through as a, as a team and as, as human beings, uh, it, would be a, it would be a great comeback. Thanks. Uh, next question, David Locke. Rudy, uh, you made the comment that you felt like you learned a lot about yourself. I think we all have in this process, um, but I'm interested if you could elaborate on that a little bit of, of what you did learn about yourself and in, in this process and in these, you know, isolated hours that we've all had to think about things. I think not just about myself, just about life in general, you know, and like I just said, you know, there's a lot of things we all, we usually take for granted, like smelling. I took that for granted too, you know, and, <laughs> It's back now, it's back 80%, so I'm not worried. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of things we take for granted. We take our planet for granted. You know, we, when, you, when we are so focused on personal lives, like we, we take a lot of stuff for granted. And when, you know, stuff happens and it's taken away from us, you realize that, you know, there's some things that really matter. And like I said, that's who you are as a human being. That's, you know, the people around you. Uh, and, and, and all the stuff you can do to impact other people positively and impact the younger generation positively. And, you know, I really realized what was, what was really important in life. And, uh, you know, I think I really needed that. You know, I, I think I'm a, I wouldn't say a different person because I'm the same, but I'm a, you know, it was a, it was a good learning experience for me. Thank you, Rudy. Look forward to watching you play again. Thank you. Okay, we have time for one more question. Uh, this one will be from Dan Wilkie, LA Times. Dan? Hey, Rudy. <laughs> Thanks, Madeline. Uh, Rudy, kind of a, a basketball Orlando-related question. As you prepare for the challenge that's ahead of you mentally, 
how much time have you spent thinking about how, how you're just going to fill the hours in a day? And um, are there, how big of an advantage do you think that'll be for the, the teams that figure out the best way to do that? I mean, I think for myself personally, that wasn't my biggest concern about the, about Orlando, you know, I, I, I'm very happy like spending time uh, on my own, uh, reading books, playing video games, uh, all that stuff. Like I've been doing that my, pretty much my whole life. <laughs> you know, I don't have kids, uh, I'm single. So, you know, like it's the kind of stuff that I've been doing my whole life. It was more the, uh, I mean, the, obviously the virus and all the, all the other stuff that was more, you know, that we had a lot of questions about. But for that, for that aspect, you know, I think we, I think the NBA has done a, a good job putting that stuff together and uh, try to keep us as safe as possible and at the same time make sure we don't go crazy in there, <laughs> you know. So I'm going to, it's going to be interesting to see when we get there, how things are. But right now, to be honest, I have a better feeling about this than I had like a few weeks ago or a month ago. You know, it's, uh, my, my, it's been more positive every day that uh, I talk with the MBPA, that I talk with so many people in the NBA and, you know, and we still don't have all the answers, but we probably don't have them once we get there. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see. Okay. Thanks, Rudy. Appreciate you taking some time.